Hey guys, Andrew here from Night Call Today we're going to talk about the FSP 100 Power 100 Solar Panel, foldable solar panel. So, this is how it looks like. Okay, the box, the whole thing folds down into a briefcase. So, this is perfect for charging all your uh, USB, your power banks, your especially the power stations, the... These guys! The NPS series of power stations. They work perfectly with this. In fact, this solar panel under direct sunlight charges faster than a wall outlet. And let's unbox this and go straight to you know what's inside. Okay. So there are two pouches actually. The front, a small pouch in front to hold all the uh, straps. These are the straps for the side hooks for you to attach it, hang onto something. The cool straps here. You have your cables, your manual, and your. Oh, this goes direct to the NPS power station. This is the charging port to power station. This is included. And of course, at the bottom here, you can see this is your USB ports, okay? One USB-C port and two USB-A ports. Okay, so these are direct charging for the solar panel. So, so uh, one of the questions is, can a solar panel hold charge? No, actually, you have to have a power bank to hold the charge. All the power the solar panel does is convert solar energy into uh, storable energy okay so it folds up like this this is really really huge all right open it up like this oh there you go all right so it has eight panels like this that generates 100 watts okay so the whole thing is foldable if you have space constraint just fold fold it in half and then you have 50 watts uh, power generator okay. it's, it's really as simple as that Okay, then you have on the side, you have all these uh, hooks here, okay, to hang it or uh, mount it with all these uh, Velcro loops here, okay. The whole thing is waterproof, so you don't have to worry about getting wet in the rain. It's supposed to be made to be used outdoors, so this material here is a very tough nylon. You don't have to worry about that. The only thing that you may have to worry about is the ports which are splash resistant but not uh, submersible okay so which is these uh, charging ports here uh, there you go the charging ports here okay that's it this is the FSP 100 incredibly compact right look at that okay carry handle here it's actually really light so some of you might ask hey this is actually about $600 so it's pretty expensive for a solar panel of course because it's 100 watts. If you look at the smaller uh, 20 watts, uh, 28 watts, all of those uh, solar panels and you divide out the ampere like watts to cost, this is actually cheaper. It's the equivalent or cheaper of you buying uh, 21 watts, let's say 21 watts times 5, 5 solar panels of 21 watts. You cannot generate enough. The cost is the same and two, you cannot generate enough to power up your uh, the power stations. Okay, so this actually charges faster than a wall outlet. That's one very important thing to keep in mind. Okay, so we're gonna bring this down to do a quick demo. All right, hey guys, we're outdoors in the hot sun. I'm gonna show you how to connect the power station with the FSP100 solar panel, all right? So it's a very quick process. Look, you can see on the power station, there's now 70% uh, battery. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna show you how it opens up and then we're gonna start charging this, all right? Just very quickly from the back, open up. We're turning in for you. And there, once it's in, you can see immediately it goes to charging. Alright, 2 watts, uh, 70%. So you can see here how long more before it reaches full charge. It says 60, 59 hours, okay? Turn it across. You can see, oh, it's not in full sunlight. Let's get this away. Make sure everything is in the full sunlight. Alright, nothing is blocking. Clouds are not moving. Flip it over. There you go. You can see it only takes six hours to charge this uh, 5.5. 5, 5. So you can see that it's steadily decreasing because the power bank is doing its I mean the solar panel is doing its job. Okay, then you can see here it charges at 44 watts per second. Okay, there you go. Alright, so that, that's basically it. Just connect, 
the cable to the solar panel and of course we never want to leave the, the power station in the hot sun when you're charging something like this always set up the power station under shade under a cooler place because this might get overheated because the panel you just keep it in the sun in the rain whatever is okay all right so that's it this is how we connect the power station with the solar panel with the FSP 100 now we're gonna show you even in cloudy skies you see over, overcast skies there's no shadow hard shadows how fast or how powerful the solar panel is okay so once you set it up open it up charging port at the back so here you once it is in sun you can see there's a red light on the USB port so just plug this in now what I have here is uh, actually a USB reader so it tells you exactly how much ampere is going out of the solar panel so if you're using just a solar panel so here I'm charging the Canon uh, battery so this is a fast charge I can see here look clearly exactly you can see how much ampere is going through it's shot up to 1.8 1.9 2 so it averages about 2 ampere now so the sun the sun is up look at that and you see the amperes there you go all right the one on the bottom that's at 1.9 1.8 2 ampere so this is maximum charging speed for anything you plug in now it's a direct sunlight so you can see it's really uh, running now so I'm gonna charge my phone as well I'm gonna max out the capacity Let's plug it in to the second port here all right my phone is up and charging and it still maintains at 2 ampere all right because this is a maximum of 3.5 ampere for both your USB ports okay so that's how you tell your panel is working or not this is a very useful uh, USB uh, charging tool okay so for optimum effect of course how you want to use this is to leave this open and leave all the devices that you're charging under the shade like this okay leave all the devices under the shade and just leave the panels up you don't want to run your power bank here on the side and then it gets overheated and then things get damaged okay so that's it this is the FSP 100 I always always recommend that you charge your power bank with the solar panel and not directly to the phone over time because there are some phones that you know if, if the there's a cloudy skies it crosses and then the power bank stops charging and then the phone detects that, hey no more current and when the sun is up again the phone detects that hey this is an uneven current it might not be safe so I'm going to stop charging okay some devices have a built-in uh, safe charging like this so it's always recommended that you charge your power bank first all right that's it you've seen how the whole thing works how the thing folds out and I recommend you get uh, if you really want to go down into you know how how fast this thing charging get the uh, USB reader which we just shown you earlier that one is available on our site as well for ten dollars and that's it this is the night call FSP 100 if you have any more questions just comment or shoot us a message this is available for uh, bulk orders group buy especially for organizations uh, SAF if you're going out few this is it and also those are uh, pop-up booths uh, pop up emergency medical booths. Uh, this, this is one of the perfect things to charge up the power stations and of course charge up whatever you need when there's direct sunlight. Alright, that's it. I'm Jay signing out.